channel my name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales thank you so much for joining me today today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video last May I did me made May and doing that I did a little video every day of what I was wearing and maybe a few bits and pieces that I was doing doing during my day and lots of people said that they really enjoyed it and that they'd like to see a variation of that over the different seasons now I didn't manage to do another one over um, 2020 Bit of a crazy year I'm sure you can all understand but I've decided that I'm going to try and do a one week per month of what I wear hopefully all me made but I will share what I wear even if it isn't me made and maybe a little bit of my day as well so I hope that's something that you're going to enjoy I'm recording this on Sunday and I'm going to start first thing tomorrow morning on Monday so I'll see you then Hiya, so it's Monday morning and I am unexpectedly going to work. I don't normally work on a Monday, um, but one of my colleagues unfortunately has um, potentially been in contact with somebody that's got coronavirus, so they've stayed home. We've got some client work that needs doing, so I'm going in today instead of having my day off and I'm going to just swap my days around this week. So I know that our office hasn't been open all of the Christmas period and it is really, really cold in there. So I have got my really super snuggly South Bank sweater on. I don't know if you can see up close, but this is like a really textured, sort of almost quilted sort of fabric. I just absolutely love this. I wear it with um, tights, thick tights, and it's just really easy to wear, super snuggly and super soft and very, very warm. Day hasn't quite gone to plan so far, I have to say. Um, I really wanted to do the whole new year, new me, but it hasn't gone to plan at all. And I thought, oh, once Monday morning comes, I'll really start and I'll get up and I'll go for a run and then I'll do whatever I've got to do during the day. And I overslept. <laughs> So it hasn't quite gone according to plan, but it's okay. It's just day one. I can start again tomorrow. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go off to work and I'll see you again later. Bye. So it's Monday evening and my daughter and I are just about to go out for a walk, but I thought I'd just quickly show you. I'm going to be wearing my trusted headband that my daughter crocheted for me. It keeps my ears nice and warm. Um, it's Monday evening. It's an hour away from Boris's announcement and I think we all know what he's going to say, but it all feels, it just all feels really pants right now. <laughs> so anyway, I hope everybody's okay, but I'm going to do that and I'm going to get home, get my pyjamas on and probably spend the rest of the evening in front of the TV. It's been quite a long day at work. Um, I just haven't got the headspace for sewing tonight, but I've got the day off tomorrow, which is unexpected because obviously my days are all swapped around, so I might get some sewing done tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Hi, yeah, so it's Tuesday morning. We've all obviously had the announcement we're now in lockdown, which is a little bit pants, I have to say, but I am determined to stay as positive as possible and focused on all the things that I really want to do and get done. Um, so I know this is a really tough time for everybody and I hope that everybody's okay. I just, I don't really know what to say because we're all in the same situation, aren't we? Um, and feeling, feeling a little bit hopeless, but Gonna, gonna try and stay focused and stay positive. So I am gonna go for my run today. I'm in active wear, um, which is not homemade. And hopefully this week I'm gonna be recording my uh, plans for 2021. And one of those things is definitely that I want to make some active wear. So um, I'm gonna go and do my run and I'll come back later with hopefully a homemade garment that I'll be wearing. See you later, bye. Hiya, so I'm back from my run and I'm showered and dressed and everything. And before I show you what I'm wearing, I just wanted to say, I was chatting with somebody online and they were saying how they realised quite how important exercise was for them. Now, I'm not I'm not going to just suddenly go into a whole thing about exercise, but while I was out on my run, it made me really think about what they'd said. And I had said, I'd replied to them and said, oh, I, I'd forgotten how important exercise was for me and actually it makes me feel really good and I feel so much better when I have. I never really want to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I don't go you know this morning when I said I was going for a run I wasn't thinking yippee I'll go for a run I was thinking oh for a run <laughs> and that first 10 steps of going you're like that oh I could just turn back now and I don't really need to do this but you go you do it and I really enjoyed it and I've come back and I feel so much more energized and I just wanted to say it's not about exercise but it I really thought about 
self-care and now more than ever we've really got to think about self-care and looking after ourselves and doing things that make us happy I feel really appreciative of the lady that I spoke to this morning because it's really reminded me that actually I've got to put a bit of importance on doing something like exercise because for me personally that makes me feel great I always put those things really low down on the list it's like oh I've really got to get the tea cooked which obviously is important I've got to cook our evening meal but I've got, I've got to get the evening meal cooked or I've got to clean the house I've got to do you know what all those things will always be there but actually looking after yourself aids you in doing that and helps you to do that and makes you feel so much better anyway i will stop and i will show you what i've got on so i've got on my megan nielsen brumby skirt and i've got it on with some thick tights and a black roll neck um sweater and i've it, this is the one that i did where i had the exposed red zip and i've done all of the top stitching in red hopefully you can see that on the screen there i really like this skirt it's not really a style of a skirt that i would go for normally but it's actually really comfy really easy to wear and i think it looks quite smart and a bit later on I'm hoping to go for a socially distanced walk with a friend of mine and I think it's something I can just chuck on some boots and that will look perfectly fine but it's really comfy and what have you for around the house during the day today I've got lots of housework to do today I've got some washing to do I do need to cook our evening meal um, I'm really hoping that I might have chance to trace out a pattern later so that I can start making that and also I'd really like to try and film my plans video for the rest of 2021 whether I get chance to do that today or not I don't know anyway that's today I shall speak to you all again tomorrow bye Hiya, so it's Wednesday today and I am going to work again and today I've got on a dress that I made in the summer. This is the Sew Over It Kate dress and I absolutely love this dress. It is just such a pretty dress. It's got these um, splits in the skirt. It's sort of semi-fitted around the waist and then with a flowy skirt and just sort of a shirt top. It actually comes with short sleeve but I put the um, Sew Over It Pussy Bow blouse sleeves onto this blouse because I wanted something that was long sleeve. Now this is made in a really inexpensive viscose fabric which is really lightweight so it's I and mean, obviously it's really cold at the moment but I have discovered the world of slips. Now I feel like a really old lady saying this but I have a slip on underneath this and it just makes it so much warmer to wear and actually I think it really makes the dress flow a bit nicer and sort of hang nicer. It doesn't snag on my tights and things like that. So I'm going to go off to work today. I think I'm going to be in all day if I'm honest um, and um, I will possibly touch back with you a bit later on today okay see you later hi yes so I thought I'd just say hi I'm in the office it is half past four I'm pretty close to being finished so I'm gonna go home in a moment it's been a very long day I think I'm gonna try and go for a bit of a walk tonight I realized yesterday that I went for a run and then I was gonna go for a walk in the afternoon and then I realized after I'd said it that actually you know you're only meant to go out once so I didn't <laughs> anyway um I am going to try and go out for a walk tonight and I really want to try and do a little bit of sewing because I really feel like I'm missing it and you know it's the 6th of January I haven't sewn anything yet <laughs> anyway I'm gonna head home and I'll speak to you later bye Hi, so it's Thursday today and I've got the day off and I've made myself a bit of a to-do list. Sounds a bit silly, but I just like to write stuff down that I know I need to get done and then tick it off as I'm going, even if it's the most basic of stuff like make the bed. <laughs> I just like to do that because well, it just makes me feel good to, to give myself a tick. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to go downstairs in a moment and have some breakfast with my girls and then I'm going to take the dogs for a walk and then I'm going to get on with the day. I've got on a Tilly and the Buttons Nora top today, which is in this jacquard jersey with these gorgeous bees on them. I made this last year and I absolutely love it. It's a really relaxed fit top. It hasn't got sort of a tight waist um, band or um, tight cuff bands. Um, I really like it. Sometimes the sleeves go in the way a bit and I have to roll them up. I'm wearing it with some old jeans and a vest top underneath. Generally, I when I'm doing my housework, if I get really hot, I just put something like that on underneath so I can just slip that off and change and what have you. But I'll, um, I'll take you through my day a little bit today and I will see you a bit later. Okay, bye. So I'm just about to have my breakfast and Katie's cooked the most delicious breakfast. I'll try and turn the camera around. And Hair and cinnamon porridge with um, lots of fruit and seeds in it. It just looks really yummy. Okay. 
So I'm just out for a walk now and I've got my trusted headband on, keeping my ears nice and warm and uh, it's really, really cold. We're really lucky. We live um, just behind a field which is available for dog walking. I think it used to be old farmland and it was left um, just as green space and it's an ideal place to take your dogs for a walk but it is literally a 20 second walk from my front door so I'm really really lucky but it is so cold it's really really frosted over as you can see halfway through the day I've been doing a little bit of work and still doing a little bit but I'm doing it from home so that's not too bad but I'm gonna finish really soon and I've got a little bit of housework to do the girls really want homemade pizza for tea tonight so I'm gonna try and do that um, the girls are feeling a little bit demotivated at the moment they started off the week with lots of enthusiasm to do their schoolwork obviously they're all at home doing online learning but they're now feeling a, like that enthusiasm has dwindled somewhat so <laughs> I think we're going to go for a little bit of a walk later get some fresh air and see if that helps and you know pump some mo motivation into them um I am wearing today my Tilly in the Buttons um Billy sweatshirt that I made in my last um makes video which has got the normal sleeve and the poofy bell sleeves at the bottom and I'm also wearing my sew over it ultimate trousers which are oh I'm a big socks <laughs> um which are really super comfy because they've been made out of this pont aroma which means that I could um take out the zip and add a waistband to make them really nice and comfy so I feel sort of like I'm relatively smart but still really comfy so that's really great um I did say about this fabric in my video that it was transferring the dye onto lots of things onto furniture and onto my body when I take this off um, and the lovely Anna from You've Got Me In Stitches suggested I soaked it in salt water so I have done that in fact I think a few people suggested that but I have done that now and I'm wearing it for the first time since I've done that so I'll report back later and let you know if I have any black dye on me <laughs> after I've taken it off anyway I hope you're all having a good day and I'll speak to you soon bye Hiya, so it's Friday evening and I've got into my pyjamas and as promised I said I'd report back about whether the um, black from my jumper that I was wearing earlier today, whether it had worn off because I had soaked it in salt water and I, I don't think you're going to be able to see it on there. Oh yeah, you might actually, but it it's still dyeing my skin and actually it's not quite as bad as it was but it's I can definitely see it and um, I'm a little bit disappointed actually it's a bit of a shame so I think I will still wear that jumper but I'm going to have to just make sure I wear it when I know I'm out and about and I'm not going to be sort of resting on pale pale furniture and stuff like that and just make sure I really sort of wash myself off you know before I go to bed and what have you but I thought I would just change um I thought I'd just show you because I've changed into my pajamas and I've got my um true bias Hudson pajamas on and they are my absolute favorite um these are the first pair that I ever made I made them in this gorgeous fabric which was just really inexpensive from um Hobbycraft and I just I just love them I think possibly it could well be the most favorite garment that I've ever made which is a bit sad because it's pajamas but um I've got it on with just a an old vest top and I'm going to put on this really old long line cardigan that I've got and I'm going to go down and watch a bit of telly with my family and chill out for the rest of the evening and then I think I'm going to have an early night and try and get on with a few bits and bobs tomorrow I still haven't actually managed to do any sewing, which is really frustrating, but it's the weekend tomorrow and I intend to do lots and lots and lots to make up for the fact that I haven't done any all week. Anyway, I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.
Hiya, so it's Saturday today and it's already midday and I can quite honestly say we have done nothing all day. Well, I say we've done nothing. My husband's actually done a bike on his turbo and been for a run already. So he's put the rest of us to shame. But my girls and I, we've all just sat around. We've had pancakes for breakfast this morning and I've had about 300 cups of tea. <laughs> and we've just literally just been sat around either on our phones, reading, chatting, but really just doing absolutely nothing, which is good and is lovely. And that's been a really nice morning, but I am feeling a bit like oh, it's midday already and I've done nothing and I've got to get on. <laughs> so I don't quite know what I'm going to be doing today. I think I'm probably just going to catch up on a bit of washing and bits and pieces like that, but I am going to get some sewing done. I'm going to trace some patterns out. My girls have got some things that they really want me to make for them. So I'm going to have some devoted sewing time today. Um, I have to say the lazy morning kind of mirrors the way that I'm feeling at the moment. I I really felt like I started the week off feeling so motivated and like I was going to get so much done but as the week's gone on a bit like my girls in their schoolwork that motivation has dwindled massively so I am going to spend some time today getting a bit of a plan together for the coming week I normally do a bit of a plan a very rough plan on a Saturday because it helps me plan what my food our food's going to be for the rest of the week and then on either later Saturday or on Sunday we get our shopping done and um, you know that helps with sort of food and making meals during the week so I might do that and if I do I might sort of go through that with you and show you what I'm planning for the for next week obviously this is only going to be one week I'm not going to be doing this every week I'm just going to do this once a month and I really hope that you've enjoyed it obviously tomorrow will be the last day but I'll just show you quickly what I've got on I've got on a very, very old denim skirt and a little vesty top, another, yes, another white vesty top. And I've got on my jumper that I knitted and I really, really love it. It's very snugly and warm. It's got these little thumb holes, which are quite nice to sort of, you know, pull the cuffs down further over your hands because it is very chilly today. Really, really simple knit. There is something else that I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get another jumper done which I've put in my make nine so I'm really hoping that I can do that during the year and show you show you at some point anyway I'm gonna get going because I really do have to get on today and I'll speak to you later bye hiya so today is Sunday and it's the last day of filming my what I do in a week and what I wear in a week <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed it um I really have enjoyed doing it myself. I enjoyed doing it last May when I did it every single week during the, the month of May. And it's just been a lot of fun to do. Look at my wardrobe and what I wear and how it sort of relates to what I do during the, during the week as well. Uh, today I've got on a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes tea, which I made a very long time ago. It's one of my favourite ones that I've ever made. It's a really proud make of mine. I, I took my time on pattern matching and all that kind of thing. And I just love it. It's really, really nice. It's bright and colourful. It's a bit of a different colour to what I would normally wear. I've got that on today with some um, ready-to-wear walking trousers. Now, I know that seems a bit strange. I've got walking trousers on. We might be going for a walk later on. My middle daughter is really into, um, is it orienteering? Is that what you'd call it? But she really, she's got um, maps and she loves to plan routes and all this kind of thing. And either we all go as a family or a couple of us go, or sometimes just her and my husband go and they have, you know, we all have a lot of fun. So I've got these on just in case we do go because she has planned out a route. Obviously, we can't go very fast we're going to try and go from home as opposed to drive anywhere because you're not meant to at the moment um but i also like to wear these even if we're not going for a walk because they're so comfortable they're just such a great alternative from jeans and on my make nine video i said about potentially making a pair of nice trousers I don't want to make trousers that look like suit trousers but i want to make them so that they are smart but still quite comfortable and these really sort of fit that bill except for the fact they've got pockets and things on them which make them look like walking trousers um but they are really really comfy so um if you haven't seen that video then i'll put a link in and do go and have a watch because i've got some plans on there of what i'm going to do during the year <laughs> and um i just wanted to also say thank you so much to everybody that voted on my little poll that i put up on my community tab recently um I am going to be doing some um, sew along soon. In fact, next week, if I get a chance, I'm going to try and start my first one. I'm a bit nervous about doing it, but hopefully it'll be okay and, um, and you'll enjoy what I do. 
But other than that, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna head off. If I don't get a chance to video again today, then I'll say goodbye now. But if not, I'll try and take you a little bit through the day. And certainly if we go on a walk, I'll try and show you a bit of scenery around Dartmoor and what have you. Okay, well, I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye. So I've been doing a little bit of cutting out of fabric and while I've been cutting out, Ellen has been doing a bit, or is doing a bit of baking. What are you doing, Ellen? I've just put 10 grams over the milk machine in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? Making butterfly cupcakes because we're not eating chocolate. Why are we eating chocolate? Because I have an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> and it's New Year's resolution. Is it going alright? Not bad really, to be honest. I think it's actually doing me a bit of good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you later. Bye. Ooh, look how yummy they look. I'm not going to lie, I'm very much looking forward to having one of those with my cup of tea in a minute. Hi, so it's Sunday afternoon and John has actually taken Amy out for a walk and said, why don't you just have some time to do some sewing because you look like you'd like to do something like that. Yes, I really would. <laughs> so I am going to make a Till in the Buttons Freya dress out of this fabric, viscose jersey from Minerva Craft. I've never done the Agnes hack with the gathered skirt before, but I really quite fancy giving it a go. This wasn't what I intended with this fabric. I actually... Um, I was going to possibly make a molly dress for myself but Amy really fancied the fabric so I said I'd make her a dress out of it instead. So I'm doing that and um, I do get lots of questions about how often I sew or how much I sew and I think this week has proved that I, that I, I don't have a plan. I just do sewing when I can and on the whole I do get a chance to sew every week. It's not always a lot and like I say it's Sunday afternoon now and this is the first time I'll have touched my sewing machine um, and done anything. I did do some tracing out yesterday and a little bit of cutting out yesterday and this morning but that's it. So next week I might do loads but I don't know it really really does change from week to week and I don't have a specific or allotted time where I actually do things. But anyway I thought I would do a little bit of sewing and um, bring you along with me. here I'm just putting in the neckband and um, I always sort of quarter the whole of the hole on the neck so I sort of mark where you know one half is on the front where one half is on the back and then try and find the quarter marks between those as well and do the same on the actual neckband piece as well um, but I am really naughty I never ever stitch in by the machine and baste it in I always stitch it straight on my overlocker which is brave and silly <laughs> so hopefully fingers crossed it'll be fine wish me luck to do um, overlocking on the round cut out a little notch of fabric so that it sits underneath your foot and the needles a bit better and so you don't have like a weird coming in and coming out of where the stitches are I've done this for quite a while now and I just find it so much easier to put my neck bands and cuffs and things like that in anyway wish me luck I'm gonna go in and do the neck band <laughs> in <laughs> hopefully that's all all right and that will lay nice and flat i'm going to give it an iron and um, i'm going to leave you guys there and i'll see you the next time i bring out a video see you later bye <laughs>